Uh, welcome to Cover Slave, the show we uh, used to play 30k, but we're playing 8th edition again because we want to be cool on the internet. And I, just, like I missed my towel! Yeah, so here we are again. We got again Jason and again Clarence, and they're back for yet another battle report. We've brought the point level up 500, we're doing 15. Yeah. Yeah. We agreed to just one detachment because if you don't, you don't really control much of anything. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, starting with Cleary, what did you bring? So I got 1500 points for the Chaos. Uh, it's a different Chaos army this time. It's my Good. Night Wards, uh, Inverse Children, because it's the best fit for the 30k stuff. And, keyword. Uh, yeah, it's the keyword and the short sure. stuff. And yeah. Cool. So I'm going to use 30k models. I like it. Mm -hmm. Jason. I brought my Tau. 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 Empire. I brought a couple of models out that I haven't used in a while, like the Vespid. Uh, I'm trying out the Crute Hound pack because that's something I've always wanted. And it was. 48 points for 12 models, that just is cool. Break the bank. Um, a bunch of crisis suits, because that's what got me into 40k. Yep. And Riptide, because I used a ghost key last time, and now we're going to go up, up the ladder. 14th higher than for wounds. They're cool. So, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, we haven't fucked with the rules, really, yet. Yeah. We desperately want to. Uh, we're trying to see if anyone's going to take the lead on that, because apparently anyone doing that is going to shout it down as a fucking heretic, because everyone who enjoys his hobbies apparently Oh, I should old. mention, I whipped up a Cold Star last night, so... Cold Star with the boys! We're going to be cracking the Cold Star with the boys, yeah. the Cold Star with the boys, yeah. Title of the episode, Cold Star with the boys. Yeah. But yeah, so we're, we're very eager to get FAQing, the reason we're not is so we can maybe highlight some of the weirder aspects. But yeah, we're... This might be the last battle report where it's core 8th edition. We'll see. Um, there was a day one FAQ, just didn't answer a tremendous amount of stuff, but no. it did feel like Jervis was writing it very dispassionately, so. Anyway, yeah, we'll move on to, uh, I'd say we move on to terrain discussion, but if you watched last week's episode, you know who that is, right? So we'll go right into armies, which is the best aspect of 8th. There we go. We're trying to be positive, right? right? Yeah. Faction play! 1500 point, uh, counts as Emperor's Children Battalion. Starting here, I have my Chaos Lord, he has a... Chain Axe, Warlord Trade is plus one attack, very simple. Uh, Slanesh, Emperor's Children. Uh, this is Chaos Sorcerer Turnit Armor, he's got a Force Sword and Common Plasma. Uh, I'm taking Warp, Time, and uh, Prescience for Psychic Powers. Um, I have three five-man Noise Marine squads with Sonic Blasters. Uh, no, no other special weapons, pretty simple. I have a ten-man Chaos Space Marine Squad with two plasma guns and the Sigrun has a power fist. I have a five man warp talent squad with the double lightning claws, that's all they can take. Uh, it's pretty simple. Here, they're uh, kind of breaking the Emperor's Children Slanesh thing. They're five man Terminator squad, Corn, and the uh, the sergeant with the big pile of skulls up front. He's the icon of wrath. Superhero failed charges. They have power axes, combi plasmas. And uh, finally, because the Forge World stuff just dropped. Yesterday, I have a uh, Sakarin, and it has uh, the double last cannon and the heavy bolter and the accelerator. The accelerator is really good, very good against flyers, and uh, two objectives in the back. So that's my 1500 point list. 1500 points uh, to out Empire, arranged in a brigade detachment. Battalion. At the Battalion, thank you. Not, there we go. Okay, well, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, so at the forefront, we have the uh, what is it? Kadri Fireblade, uh, he has what is modeled as a Pulse Carbine, but because my model isn't painted, I ran it as spray paint. Um, so we're just going to cheat a little bit today. And so that is a Pulse Rifle, and he has a Marker Light, and he also has 400 grenades and a pistol, I believe, and a uh, high level of badassery. Okay, next to him, on the left side, is a fast attack choice of Pathfinder. So there's just five of them, and with the Shots 3, they don't have any of the extra gear, but they do have for their drone support, two shield drones, and one of my new favorite things, at least on paper, which is the grav inhibitor drone. So everybody within 12 who is starting an assault on the enemy team loses D3 movement. I don't think it's movement value, it's just to their charge. Still very cool. Uh, and then to the right, we have what I've always wanted to see, which is a pack of wild crew towns just hooting and hollering running through the city. I just love that, that idea of a bunch of robot suits with alien dogs around their feet. It just sounds awesome. So there's 12 of them. They're super cheap. They move really fast. They're beasts. We're going to have to get into that. I'm not really sure what the rules on beasts are exactly. Okay, there we go. Eighth edition! Eighth edition! 
that? Okay. So behind them we have uh, a unit of Crisis suits. They have dual flamers each and advanced targeting systems. These uh, guys have been on the shelf for a very long time. I, I've, I've always loved them. They're they're very cool. Uh, flamers weren't so good, I guess, in the previous edition, but they're kind of cool right now, at least for the time being. So for now, for now. So they have flamers. They have ATS. So those they have the minus one to their their uh, AP. And then behind them is three gun drones as their drone support. Behind them is another squad of Crisis suits. They have twin plasma and multi trackers, so they can reroll ones. It's kind of cool. And they have three shield drones as their support. And then, since we'll just we'll just go in a line here. Okay, so this this is just a broadside with missile pods and smart missiles, and he has ATS advanced targeting system as well because it's super cool and awesome. Back here is my warlord. He is in a cold star with the boys! Cold star with the boys! He's in a cold star battle suit, I can't miss XB something, whatever, anyway, and it flies. He's He has a high capacity burst cannon, so it's basically two burst cannons. He has an eight shot burst cannon and a missile pod. He has a shield generator and ATS because all the cool kids are doing it. So, he's awesome. He flies around. He has a 20 inch movement. When he advances, he can move 40. That'll be a lot of fun. Behind him is a Riptide. It's equipped with the uh, heavy burst cannon. Haven't seen that in a while. It's got two smart missile systems. It has ATS because it's cool. And he also has a target lock so he can move and shoot his guns at full effect. So that's cool. Back here we have three identical squads of strike teams. They have a chassis with marker light and pulse pistol each. And there is a DX9, whatever it's called, smart missile turret in each one. And then, last but certainly not least, some of my favorite models in the back are the Vespid. Uh, they're Stingwings. Vespid Stingwings. There's a squad of eight, they have a string leader, and they have no other options. That is it. I don't know if I mentioned, but my world trait will be the six plus feel no pain for my cold star. Uh, that's it? Yeah. So here we are at the Ta'au deployment. Let's start over here. So I've sort of set up like kind of two fire bases here. There's one here, there's a couple of uh, strike teams on there with the Fireblade, Riptide, Doggis. There's an objective in here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, over here, whoop, there's some Pathfinders. I'm checking out these barrels. I think there's maybe some Kool Aid or Gatorade in there. They're probably thirsty from finding all those paths. There's three drones here. Uh, two are shield, one's a Grav drone. They had to be deployed within three of them, so they're just chilling there. Up on the bridge, we got a broadside and a strike team. They're just having a good time, just rummaging through that objective there. Uh, and we've got a bunch of reserves, so I'll see you with reserves. Here we are with Cold Star with the boys. So starting with the boys in the front, we have a squad of Vespid Stingwings. Ooh, I haven't seen them in a while. Very cool. They're very green. Okay, behind them, we have the Flamer suits with the gun drones. Behind them, we have the Plasma suits with the multi-trackers and the shield drones. And we have the Cold Star himself. They are all deep striking, mantis striking, plunging from above. They're bespoke be striking! They're bespoking into the game. Night Lord deploy Monte, Emperor's Children. Um, starting down into this corner. So right in the uh, the watchtower, I have a five-man noise marine squad. We're just lurking in the back. Moving down behind the barricade in our impassable terrain, I have a ten-man chaos space marine squad. I have my Sakaran kind of in the middle of things, and uh, it is able to leave that way, so I didn't fuck myself. I have uh, another five-man noise marine squad back there. My chaos lord uh, lurking. And then the last five hugging the edge to deny line of sight. And everything else for me is in reserve. In teleport assault reserve, I have my Chaos Sorcerer and my uh, five Chaos Terminators. And then in their bespoke strike, I forget the exact wording of it, but it is a bit different from theirs. Uh, I have the five Warp Talents. Hey guys, I'm going to tell you where the objectives are. First one's right here, chilling on the, on the bridge with the broadsides. The broadside and the fire, fire warriors back here. We have the generator, and I guess the Tau have set up a little command center there, and they're playing video games or something. We have a communications array on top of that building. Looks pretty cool, actually. Then over here, almost perfectly, we have an injured guy. He's almost ready for the grave. So grave. In the graveyard, there's nasty stuff going on. So yeah, that is our objective deployment. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna steal the initiative right now. You're gonna watch it. Here we go. Boom. Reroll. <laughs> you can actually do that. We're playing no fact today. All right. So burning command reroll. Sixth edition. Eighth Sorry. Eighth, eighth edition. Eighth edition. Come on. Wah wah wah. Hey, let's have a look at your rebels. 
Night Lord, Emperor's Children, turn one. Uh, starting down over here, I just actually kept my Noise Marine Squad here still, uh, just trying to get out of line of sight for inevitable firepower back. This 10 man squad moved up. They shot one plasma shot at the uh, Fire Warrior squad and the Pega guy uh, through their cover safe, so they would have had a six up. Uh, moving down over here, I moved my Sakarian up into, into the kind of the middle of the, the intersection to get some line of sight, and the trap was able to see the Riptide. And I believe did five wounds in total. Yeah. Uh, five from the last cannon, and then the auto cannons did another four. So it was nine. nine. nine wounds, yeah. um, Deep striking down here. Well, I deep struck all three of my uh, my units. Uh, the warp talents did come in here. I cast warp time on them, so they were able to move until up about here. I did have to burn a command point uh, to cast um, prescience successfully onto that unit. And Jason used a command point when I paralleled to make me reroll the damage from the perils of the warp to a three. Uh, so, with their presence, uh, combi plasmas, I shot his Riptide, I overcharged them, I didn't roll a single one, so they all hit, and uh, managed to take out the last of the wounds. And finally, I charged all three squads, and because they have their Warp Flame Strike, whatever their deep strike was called, uh, he wasn't able to overwatch. Sadly, I was only able uh, to fit about two models up, just because they were all kind of spread out way over here, and they had to go up and around. Um, so only the two models actually on the floor were able to fight because you have to be within an inch and base to base. So I just targeted his Fire Warrior squad and I killed them all off and his uh, return attacks didn't do anything. And uh, that's it for Night Lord Turn 1. See at the end of Tao Turn 1 8th Edition. Edition! Okay guys, here we are at the end of Tao Turn 1. We're going to start, we'll start over here. So I had some units in reserve uh, at the end of my movement. These units arrived here, okay? This unit with the plasma rifle shot and killed the character that was here. I believe it was a character. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Cool. So that's cool. Vespid in here. I kind of goofed. They were too far in. I thought there was a window here. But they did some wounds to the Terminators who were then charged by the Crude Hounds. Back here, kind of hard to see. There was a group of fire warriors with the Kadri fire blade that disengaged from combat and went down here. Or rather, straight down through the floor as we've rule today at least. Over here the Cold Star showed up, boom, he, like Superman and like superhero uh, fell onto there and mowed down I think like four guys, three guys, and then four. The, the broadside fired his smart missiles here, attempting to kill the last guy, but clearly passed all the saves. He fired his high yield pods into the side of this, not that, that matters anymore, <laughs> and did five wounds. Eighth edition! Eighth edition! Okay. Uh, we have four fire warriors over here who moved up over on the bridge, and they were gonna possibly fire here, but they actually fired at this guy, who's still here. Clearly passed all the saves. Clearly he's renowned for that. He's got like inverse ninja theory with this guy, so if, his guy, if there's less of them, they're harder to kill. These guys are the flamethrowers, and they're gun drones. Uh, Manta Strike, as it's called, over here, sort of into the graveyard, and fired the, the pulse carbines off the gun drones into this unit. Don't think I killed any. Clearly passed all the saves. Uh, and... I think that's it. Oh yeah, this unit of drones kind of scooted under here, kind of closer to this broadside. Uh, and the Pathfinders actually used their marker lights to help with all the things that shot and killed. What was the combat rush? These guys. Uh, the, I can't remember. So I killed two. Two? And he killed I don't know two how many back. wounds I did, so I guess three or four. Something like yeah. that. And he killed two back? And he killed two, yeah. So it continues. It continues. Oh, that's gone now, eh, Prescience? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, token. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that. Perfect. Okay. okay, yeah. So that's the end of Tao turn one. We'll see you at the end of Chaos turn two. I were turn two, uh, starting down over here. My Terminators fell back out of combat, allowing my uh, Noise Marine squad to move up uh, and shoot at the doggos. They killed like six, and then the Battle Shock uh, evaporated them. My Sakaran stayed still, and uh, to get plus one, like hit on threes with his normal shots to shoot at uh, the broadside. How we made all the saves from the. Like Every two two auto cannon wounds that got through, and the the two last cannon wounds. So uh, it's going to be really frustrating. I moved uh, the squad up on top of the wounds after running uh, four inches or three inches, so they're easy up. Moving back down over here, my warp talon moved in and 
charged and killed one, and then so the pathfinders there. Yeah, of the pathfinders, and uh, didn't have to take battle shot because of that. Uh, moving out of this side, we'll start over here first. They moved up and shot a bunch of shots at the crisis suits, but uh, toughness five is really annoying to get through, and he did no wounds to any suits. None of these guys did, and then my chaos space marine squad. Or charged plasma uh, got passed off to a drone, so that just killed the drone, and then the bolter did maybe a wound. Uh, they lost about four from the Overwatch, and then one more from the leadership test uh, at the end of the phase. So they're down to about half strength. That's not very good, and uh, the suits are still all alive. Uh, that's it for me, though. It's at the end of uh, turn three for Tao. Tao. In turn two, three? Are uh, you in first? Or? I am. I first. Yeah. Right. Now, Tau turn two. We're going to start right here. So there was a Warp Talon. Warp Talon. Who, dis who was in combat with these Pathfinders. They disengaged. Uh, the Fire Warriors with the uh, Kedri Fire Blade moved out underneath and fired at this guy and killed him. I think it was just them. They killed him. And then over here, Mr. Broadside fired his smart missiles over here. Killing one, I believe, and then the high yields fired in here, doing another five wounds. So that's uh, things. I don't know. It's, it's taking some damage. Pretty good. Um, these drones moved up here to kind of help out this group. These fire warriors here fired their pulse rifles over here. Didn't do anything. This group disengaged from combat because they have fly and assault weapons. They used their flamers on the group in front of them and toasted them. And then kind of, I think there was one left, I believe the gun drones that were here finished them off. But because of uh, the rule that Cleary has on his noise marines, they get to shoot when they die. So they killed uh, one of them. Causing battle shock. Causing battle shock and it killed the other guy. So that's why they're toast. Uh, moving along over here. So the commander in the Cold Star actually used his, uh, I think he was here, used his uh, advance option. Full, Full 40 inches, flew over here, and fired at the Terminators that were here. Uh, he passed all his saves, but the Vespid managed to finish them off. Minus two! Minus two! I like Vespid now, they're pretty cool. Uh, the drones and the suits jumped up onto here and fired their twin, or twin plasma rifles into here, killing one or two, I think it was two? Two, two of the five. Uh, Clear again got to shoot back with his cool rule, but uh, my suits are awesome. and passed all their saves, yeah. Uh, so that's the end of top turn two. We'll see you at the end of Chaos turn two, or three. This is the end of Night Lord turn three. He's turned down over here. I moved and I rolled a five for their advance. So they got to go six inches. Uh, they shot the Vespid, as did the guys up top. They pumped out like five, killed five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just seems pretty good on the saves. And uh, I didn't kill any more from Battleshock. The Sakaran shot at the, whatchamacallit, the broadside. And even though I needed fours to hit, uh, um, I hit a lot. Failed a lot of wounds, and uh, d I did five wounds total, like, uh, which could have been way better considering the last cans do a shit ton of the top gun does a lot. But um, moving down over here, I had moved uh, Noise Marine Squad up to about yay, and uh, they were within range of the, the one of the one of the flamers or two of the flamers from shooting. I tried to shoot at his broadside, and then when I charged, uh, he one suit was able to kill them all from Overwatch. And, uh, but because of the noise marine mechanic, when you die, you get to shoot again. So I just shot his broadside again and killed it off with that. So, uh, I finally killed the broadside. It was a turn or so too late. Um, and those flamer suits are really terrifying. So we'll see how it goes and at the end of turn three for Tau. Tau turn three. So we're going to start over here. So the flamethrower suits having cleared out the graveyard are moving up onto this objective. They used the advance rule and rolled a six. So they got a nice big move in there. It's cool. These fire warriors got closer to this objective and fired their pulse rifles over here and actually knocked a wound off this guy. Uh, the drone- Eighth edition! Eighth edition! Yeah, it knocked off something important. You know, I guess like a view screen or like, like something important on the outside. Who knows? Okay, over here, these pathfinders just sort of moved back from, I think, or maybe it was them last turn, I don't know. They just sort of moved back towards this objective, as did these uh, fire warriors, moved up from behind, so they're sort of grouping up to go over to the, to the objective. Over here, the 
Cold Star Commander moved from here to here, jumped up there, and he fired with all his weapons. Did I believe two? One wounds there. And that leaves me with or, uh, with two wounds to go through. I think you have mm -hmm. left. Yeah, there's two wounds left in that guy. Uh, over here, the Vespid and the Crisis Suits jumped down and attacked this squad, killing, I believe, three of the five. And they fired back and killed one of the crew with their crew, their Vespid with their with their special rule. I rolled really well there. Um, geez, what else? I think that's it. Actually, we're kind of running low on, on models on e either side. So that's the end of Tau, turn three. We'll see at the end of Chaos, turn four. Yeah, we're turn four, uh, starting over here, not much happened. I uh, stayed still and shot out the, the battle suit commander. And uh, so his heavy bolter, I think, did one or nothing past the save. Um, wounded with one last cannon, did two wounds. Uh, then the, the top cannons did five wounds, and he failed one. Um, yeah, so that was pretty unfortunate. Uh, my small squad shot the two Vespid and killed one or didn't kill any, and then I had to finish off with the top squad. Um, then I tried charging the suits and got like three or four hits, four hits, and uh, killed them all off. And their return fire didn't do anything, so it's looking pretty bad for me, and uh, we'll see how much worse it gets at the end of Tower Turn 4. Welcome to end of Tao, turn four. I'm not gonna talk like that the whole time, it's okay. All right, so we're gonna start over here. That's offensive. <laughs> so the, the, the crisis is with the flamers, they just sidled up here, got nice and comfy on this objective. They've done their job, the graveyard is burning, uh, everything is good in the world. These fire warriors and drones didn't have anything to do, so they're just chilling on this objective. Over here, kind of hard to see, but fire warriors and pathfinders and the fire blade have gotten nice and cozy with the command center there. Moving over here, the Crisis Suits moved up with the commander who also moved up here. And the it's almost like there's a cold one with the boys. <laughs> That's right, this is this is the cold one, these are the boys. The boys shot and got the final wounds off of the Sakaran, and the Cold Star fired up here and killed, I believe, one. One of the three. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yes, yeah, the end of Tau, turn four. We'll see at the end of Chaos, turn five. So this is the end of Chaos Turn 5, and uh, starting way over here, um, so I moved Are down. Are you sure? Yeah. Whoa, way to shake the cam, man. <laughs> but, uh, so my dudes moved down here, uh, my character moved up, shot at his suits, I uh, didn't do anything. Oh no, I did a wound. Then I went to charge his battle, Star Galactica, with, uh, <laughs> with my noise marines, and he overwatched with all that stuff and killed one, or two, however many there is left. Kill my charge. And then I was like, well, the whole point was to get the support fire out of the way so they can't overwatch again. Or maybe it's just you can only support fire once. I don't quite you know. You can only do it once, so. Like I don't, but I don't know if the support fire, if it's. You, when it, because you can overwatch multiple times now. So really? I'm not too sure the. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to charge hey. there. I failed it too. So it doesn't matter. We'll get um, another day. <laughs> and we'll see at the end of Tao turn five. Tao, Tao, Empire, turn five. Um, you know what? We'll start over here. So, they did nothing. They stayed there on that objective, just like last turn. They did nothing. They stayed there on the objective like last turn. These guys did nothing. They stayed there on the objective like last turn. Now, all that aside, the Cold Star jumped up like a boss onto his objective to show his disrespect. And these guys fired at his warlord, did two wounds. And uh, because of bespoke bespokingness, uh, this guy fired from his shield down at the guy that was here. Eighth edition! Eighth edition! Okay, so uh, he killed him. He just janked that guy. He did like seven wounds to him and he failed the first one. And then this guy, he's still there. That's Cleary's last uh, last model. So I could have assaulted. Oh, Steven ends. We'll do it live. Are we going to... Is it random game like that? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, roll it. Do you, okay, we're going to roll. There you go, internet. We're rolling something live. Here we go. Look, I'm rolling a dice. Oh, it's... <laughs> It keeps going. going. Alright, so this is the end of night. Chaos, the Lord, children. Turn six. Five. <laughs> six. Six. Yeah. So, I, uh, I moved to the edge there. I failed to wound with my shooting attack. Uh, got shot up by Support for the dudes on the, the Overwatch. I uh, rolled a four, but because the four is just enough to get up to the top and you have to be within an inch to make the charge. And uh, I did two wounds, he passed them both. So. Kill him, and in return, 
didn't clunk him, but he'll just leave combat. And uh, that's the end of 8th edition, <laughs> turn 6. It's the end. The end of 8th yeah. edition. <laughs> so here we are at the end of turn 6 and the game. So, yeah, not much really to say. Uh, let's just go right over here. So as you can see, there are no more Chaos models. So the Cold Star backed off and shot the uh, Chaos Lord, I guess he was? Chaos Lord, right? Sorcerer? Yeah. It's a Chaos Lord. Lord. Anyway, he shot him with his high output burst cannon and put the final wound in him. And boom. And, and with him, Clary's fate. <laughs> and the fate of this sector. Uh, so it didn't end on turn six. It was a wipe. So yeah. <laughs> so so the final score uh, we're looking at is like I guess I have this one right. Yep. He's got, so this so one one controlled by so him. So three VP I guess. Or There's one. another three VP there, another three VP there, and another three VP there. And then uh, is line breaker still a thing? Yep. Yeah. I don't know if he's getting it. You need one model. Man. One model. Is it within twelve? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. He's within 12, okay. So he gets a breaker and clearly his first blood. So it's a 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 for me, and 1, I think. That's with Warlord, right? War uh, oh, with Warlord, so there's 14. 14, 14 to... To what? To 1. Right? Did you get anything else? No. Okay. 14 to 1. 14 to 1. We'll see you at the, with the post-game show. 8th edition! 8th edition! <laughs> Welcome to the post-game show! Howdy, uh, howdy! Yeah, you didn't miss the orgy or the gangbang. We just moved uh, into the only room with air conditioning because it's exceedingly hot. But well, we turned it off for you. Yeah, so, so you can hear, hear us say yeah. things and stuff. Uh, I'm going to toss it to Jason MVP. Oh, I want to say the cold star. Probably. With the boys? I don't know. You know, it, it's either... Like, he, he, he didn't do a whole lot, but... I see if they're like the flamers. objective. Guys. But I was gonna say, my second choice is maybe the, the flamers. Flamer. No, flamers. The flamers. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Yeah. The flamer guys. Yo, they, they, they just came out of left field and they were like, so you want us to kill 15 uh, noise marines? Yeah, no no problem. Or 25 or whatever it was. The like, total. Yeah. yeah. And they just flamed their way through it and they did everything up. Like, everything I'd hoped for them to do is just like, and then when they get charged, they'll flame shit and they can jump away and then they can flame. And like, it was just great. It was just, they were pyromantic. They were, they were amazing. What was your epic fail? My epic fail? The Riptide. Yeah, the Riptide, who yeah, just yeah. didn't even get to move once. That's gun down. But I don't know if that was necessarily him right? failing as it was you what just else doing was, really well. What else failed then? That one squad of I was gonna say collectively not deploying all your turrets. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Well, squads well, I mean those there. those squads that were on the le on my left side, like they had a lot of moving to do. So it's they, a good it's a good thing in Tau Land where you don't even need your, your firepower. <laughs> yeah, no, but the guys the, the, missiles? No. the guys on the bridge, I totally forgot to put their turret yeah. down. They could have been firing all all day. They were they were too busy. Just they were just like, oh wow, look at those flamethrower suits go. Well, <laughs> one guitar. Yeah, so we'll uh, I don't know, we'll say. I guess the. F it doesn't feel right to say the Fire Warriors. I'd say the Riptide. It wasn't really its mistake. That's though. the thing, though, yeah. You could have targeted just about anything and wiped it, so like. It's true. Okay, we'll say, I guess, the f the one Fire Warrior team that died. Sure. That, like, also you, just got wiped. Yeah, exactly. Counter, so uh, I, I don't really know what to say. Do the Pathfinders, because they were fucking silly gooses fucking running back and forth. That's true. They, like, you know what? That's right. They, 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 actually, they, were out to lunch they never or, really had a good time to target stuff. Yeah. They were like, there was even a turn where I was like, oh, I'll move. Oh, but I don't need to move. Ah, ah, ah. Hitting on fives now. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Pathfinders. Clarence, uh, what was your MVP? You got to give it to the, uh, the Terminators. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they didn't get a lot of shooting, but goddamn, did they shoot. Yeah, the, uh, the, the drop down unit. Unit. with the, the presence, I hit every time with the, because they would hit on twos with it, on the overcharge. And out of the 14 wounds, they did like 8 or 9 or 10, right? They did. Like a good, um, good portion, I feel. Yeah. I made them take another 6. So they did 6 out of the 14. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's really good. Where at? She was... You have five left. What was your epic fail? I don't know. One of the. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's really my stuff failed that much because Jason Pace the passed a lot of saves. Yeah. Um. Maybe some of the guys in the graveyard. I think that yeah, the Chaos Space Marine squad is a huge the big disappointment. Squad? Yeah. 
Yeah, they kind of like move. I really used like, to oh, having shit. that shit like have more attacks in combat and like. Yeah, they, like the big thing. It's not even them. It's like fucking toughness five is really annoying. <laughs> I hope, and that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, he's, all his guns are strength four. I'm like, that's weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, toughness five is really <laughs> annoying. Especially where you're used to it being a point lower. Yeah. Uh, I understand. Yeah, I totally get that. So. Now, mind you, the, the models are very big now. Like the current ones. Sure. I, I, I yeah. haven't seen the current yeah. ones. Yes. Yeah. What, uh, two thoughts, two minutes less your thoughts on the game, Jason? Um, I mean, like I was saying earlier, I feel like uh, this time I got to try a few more things in the chalice, and I feel like that, at least speaking towel wise, most of the stuff sort of feels like it does what it should do, like as a battlefield role. You're like, oh yeah, like crisis suits can kind of with like the toughness five and stuff. They kind of like can stand up to a squad and like bully them and like clear out an area, you know. But how many points were say like the 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 flamer team? Yeah, hundred and seventy six mm. with the drones. That's with mm. the drones. If you, t you could take the drones off, and they wouldn't. So it's about almost almost two hundred points. Okay, how about the plasma ones? They were like around the same. It was like 170. Like they were like around 178 or something like that. Let's see how much I paid They're for. They're not enough for. Yeah. I pay 104 points for one one Terminator with a missile launcher. So it's like yeah. I don't fly. I don't teleport. I don't deep strike. I don't yeah. break every rule of the game. Yeah. Um, the hate for Tau is strong, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just bring it. <laughs> it's not really Tau. It's just the point costs in general right now are like yeah. really obvious. Um, nothing was done. Yeah. Um, other than just like bumping points around. They, they probably could have been a little bit more expensive base. I think maybe that yeah. would have yeah. emphasized so the, more. The 10-man squad stuff. I had was 176. Yeah. So I don't... I would take that question yeah. yeah. every day. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, if they were even, like, say, 20, 30 points more than, like, yeah. my squad, I'd be like, you know what, it's fair. Like, they're more expensive. Uh, they can kind of, like, weigh in a bit more, but for the same points, like. Yeah. What I didn't like, I mean, both like I guess narratively, like just in terms of what happened there, and like game mechanic wise, is it's even what you said. Like leaving combat should hurt. Yeah. Like you should take a bunch of like automatic hits or yeah. something because it, it's a bit like what happened to you like last game away, like, with your demon prince. You pay such a heavy toll to get there. Yes. And you get like a turn to do a fucking scratch, and then you get shot again by a million things. And it's like this isn't a fair comparison of effort. Like it's. It's really the people wanted like to, uh, points every turn in the last yes. edition, yes. and it's like, but like, how do you calculate the guy who's not spending his turns in his ass? He's running into your bullets. Like that doesn't seem like a fair compensation. And like, in fairness, you made it into combat, and it's not like you even rolled bad. You just didn't get like a million attacks or whatever. But even your power fist guy, guy got fucked. Like, it, it, yeah. Like, when I'm looking at what should have happened there, like in my mind, and this is not talking rules. This is just like the sure. narrative of what I thought would happen. If six or seven fucking marines jump that unit, like at least the fucking suit's going down for fuck's sake. Yeah, no. Like, after it's a landing, power, power fist. fist. Why is it like a love tap? Yeah, well, I think the big problem too is like we're thinking the last edition where it's like yeah, like you have a power fist guy and some sport. He just like, crunches the tire. Yeah, I, and it's I like guess. no, the fucking toughness five like makes it really. Yeah, not... I guess. But what I hate the fact is is like even when you jump through all your hoops, bud. You might roll a three or a one. Yeah. Why isn't it just three? Like, no, why isn't it yeah. just a fucking fist in the face? That, like, maybe it is. Mm -hmm. I hate all the levels after after getting over the hoops for damage output because some stuff is like three and some stuff is D three and some stuff is like one. Yeah, that's a pretty. It, it seems like it's all over the fucking map for that yeah. shit, and that's where a lot of the little annoyances come because everyone's like, "My damage rolls are bad." Yeah, we, no, we, for we, me, the we, biggest complaint was the, to that. was the toughness five uh, on the suits. The toughness thing in general is stupid from 5 to 7. Just in general, both weaponry and dude-wise. It's a really weird incentive. Um, yeah, it's like great when you're 1 up or 2 up over, but there's like once you keep going, it's until you're double, it's, yeah. you don't give a shit. So it's like... I don't know. And even going the other way, um, there's so many weapons that do like more than one damage. It's just really frustrating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not an addition for, for elite infantry in a lot of ways in my mind, but... Well, this game is all about who has fly and not now. That's really it. Yeah, I was gonna say like really we did just get over saying that crisis suits are yeah. fucking awesome and undercosted. They're elites. <laughs> yeah. they, they're elites. Yeah. Okay. I always think they're troops for some reason. I guess. Uh, uh, Farsight. I don't. You just can't. That's not a thing anymore. I don't know what. I don't know if Farsight. If the enclaves are. It's a thing still. I don't know. It's a I, I, I it's don't it. love everything scoring. Like, right now with, um, like under two thousand and three. Or more detachments, or whatever, you know, four thousand, or whatever. You get four over two thousand, right? Yeah. 
it doesn't really control anything. Um, you can almost just like make a list of 2,000 points and go and like spin a fucking dial until you find the yeah. FOC it fits into. So yeah. like all you have to memorize is most of them need an HQ. Like that's as long as you start your list off with like one HQ, and then mm -hmm. you're like, at worst you're gonna go, oh, I need to like get a second one if I need, yeah. one. you know. It doesn't control anything, so you're back to just each codex and their point cost for models is so fucking important. Yeah. Because, like, the FOC controls nothing. It, it really doesn't. Yeah. You can you can spam just about whatever you want, right? I'm not wrong on that. Yeah, you could take... Until we're up to, like, the super heavy You can take two... Level, right? Like, you can pretty much take anything you detachments want. Detachments of, like, whatever, spearhead, whatever, and have, like, 12 heavy supports. Yeah, I mean, let's say right. you just wanted a whole list of those flyers for uh, Eldar, the crazy ones. Like, you could probably get... We can get six five. of them or five of them or right because you right? can get two out of like oh, oh the three to five yeah there the you two go. and then so. you take the one attachment that's three flyers or something right like yeah the three to five the three to five so you just, so just have a shitload of flyers if you want yeah. so right now that it, it's it reminds me of seventh in that you have like the complexity but not depth it looks complicated to have all these focs but it actually is in no way because it's yeah. just a really bad check on spam. Yeah. It's made a bit worse, I think, by the whole Imperial thing of, like, you can mix and match stuff now. So some people can kind of have allies and some can't, and that's... Yeah. I'm not going to cry any tears for Tal, mind you, but... I, I'm not. That's, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good with what I got. Yeah, like, I'm good. I don't need allies. It's fine. But they also kind of messed up. You were saying they forgot unique for, like, assassins, right? It's, you and know, Celestine. Like, is, or Celestine. And yeah. Phoenix Lords. Yeah. Wait, what about Phoenix Lords? They're, They're not, not unique. unique. You could have an army Mogan Raz... You have an army of Calvinist assassins right now. Who cares? Who cares? The press <laughs> um, all right, so wait, do we do your two minutes thoughts in the game, or yep. can I just okay? So we got that out of the way. I guess we're just talking about eighth now. Yeah. Banta, what's happening? Okay, I'm gonna do a now. quick check on our thing just so we don't get cut off again. There. I believe we were talking about eighth edition. Um, I believe so. Yes. I'm eight. trying not to be overly negative, which. When you're someone who's critical, it's hard to not appear that yeah. way. So, I mean, it's fair though, and I and I I'm trying to be positive myself, and there is a lot of things I do like. I mean, I can't deny that I'm having fun playing Tau again. It's just that's cool, but like, I thought faction play was more back until I looked at Imperial and Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, great, yeah, everyone has to play one. The winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you had Forgel, right? My God, it's... Yeah, the Forgel. Yeah, we could talk about that shit. Yeah, we could. Um, um I don't know much. You fill us in. So. Yeah. It's Chaos and Space Marines out right now. Yeah. Uh, that's what you can get. Chaos one gets you, like, uh, the demon engine shit. Yep. Uh, basically, the, the 30k, some of the 30k stuff transplanted. You don't get everything. You don't get the, the Lucius draw pods. You don't get the laser vindicator. What about, like, the destruction engine or whatever? Is that, what's that thing? That, that's under the demon engine, the decimator. Yeah, yeah. the decimator. Yeah. 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 Uh, like there's, there's the aircraft. Uh, so that's like the Fire After Storm Raven or Storm Eagle, um, Hellblade and Talon, Dreadclaw, Charybdis, and Xiphon. Yeah, and then there's the special characters from Vrax, and uh, yeah, they're I think they're all from Vrax, and then Demon stuff, yeah, uh, the Forge World Knights. Just to stop you there, I'm guessing it's one of the ones from Vrax that had models. No, none of them had models. Oh, okay. Except I'm for except then. for. Um, the Necrosius and Zufor, but like wow, no, because the, the Alpha Legion, Legion guy, W side is yeah, no, been like if it had no model. The, the Alpha it. Legion guy, like Arcos the Faithless, like he has rules. Um, cool. I, like, I'm not familiar with this character. He's not super interesting. It's a 40k thing. Yeah, or 30k. 40k. Thing. 40K. <laughs> well, no, he was never interesting. Yeah. In, yeah when did he come more? out? Siege of Rax, so like number seven. Wow, I guess I just he, totally missed that. Uh, like, like, in, on the Space Marine side, like all the Bat of War uh, chapter Space Marine characters are almost all in there. They don't have Corvidae for some reason, of course, uh, and like maybe like one or another. Well, like they're they're missing some, but they have a lot of them, including like. Isidon the uh, the broken. So dumb. Isidon the broken. He's yeah. broken. But yeah, uh, the, they have a lot of shit in the, those books. Uh, Fire Raptor's crazy good. Dreadclaw's yeah. very good. Um, Zyphon? Zyphon's better. Yeah. I want to say mostly. 
Um, Part of that's just the eighth head, like seeing everything. Yeah, it, it gets more. Well, it also gets more resilient, and I believe yeah, I you basically have power of the machine spirit in terms of your heavy weapons. And then did give, he play equivalent to agile? No, because don't mm -hmm. jank. Right? No, I just meant they'd express it in another bespoke way. Well, um, it, it has a vector dancer essentially, so right, kind yeah. of. Okay. Uh, hmm. And uh, the chaos. Spartan's not good, but the loyalist one can never be taken, so it doesn't matter. It's I'm I'm very stoked for a lot of the fortune stuff. Yeah. Um, Why can't the loyalist one be taken, sir? Well, you can, but you pay the so the loyalist shit it has this relic special rule, and so for every detachment you have, you can't have more relic stuff than non-relic stuff for any particular battlefield rule. So that means you can only you can't have more Relic elites than non relic elites, or fast attack than non fast attack, or flyers than non flyers. Mm -hmm. um, so that means for flyers, for example, you need one flyer and then a fire raptor in your battalion. Oh, okay, I got that. you. Right. So, so when you get, get, to get to the spot. Spartan, which is now a Lord of War, you need more sp more than one Lord of War. Two. Like, I see. you need yeah. a non relic, -relic Lord of War. Relic, and guess what? The only one that lets you have more than one is the three to five, so you really need two Lords of War to do take a Do you think that was like a rules is written, rules is intended thing, or do you think that was them... It might have been like them, like, not... I can't see that being the not, reason. I'm just saying it's probably already like, what, a 500 point tank already? Like, how much can you really put like in 2,000 points? 40. Like, yeah, so... That's all I meant, is like, it's... It might have been like an <laughs> oversight, but like, the rules are unequivocal in terms of that, like... Yeah, no, they'd have to fix uh, it. Um, let's talk about the FAC. That yeah. came out day one. That's usually when facts came out. There was the question, and there was the errata. The errata is like what we're changing in the book, yeah. Whatever we're rewording. And the fact is like a clarification. Always throughout you know, GW's history, it's it's never been simple because like until you convince them something has to be rewarded, the fact will tell you the intent, but may not fix the problem. Yeah. Because the fact itself might not might show that they don't understand what you're asking them to. Like, oh, yeah. if I asked you what color this is, and you said it's five, it's not a color. Like it's just yeah. anyway. Good example of that where like, the fact reads like a, a very pissy Jervis being like, how dare they question my genius, but fuck them. So I'm going to question it. There is an arrogance to GW because there's people asking them about terrain in this fact, and they don't realize they fucked up the writing of the terrain rules themselves. The so rules. they just reiterate you to use essentially the tree rules, but like that's not how barricades work or craters or ruins or anything else. They're not all trees. So like yeah. they're basically even, they're sending you like the wrong direction and message and it's more confusing, in my opinion. All they actually have to air out is one fucking word, and they would fix ruins to at least be in line with trees. Yeah. They well, both still have that problem then of, like... in line with everything. Sure, yeah. Every other area. It just it switches back to their problem of, where, like, now you need them all to be in to get the cover safe period, yeah. so, like, it still has... But that's too. what, like, using basic rules, if you're, like, not doing anything else, if you just use the basic rules, that's yeah. how all terrain works. But the confusion comes into the fact of, like, hitting versus, like, wound application. And the way it sounds like, like, no one can I save because the shot was all at the same time versus, oh, it's a different unit now, we're starting again. So it's like, you can whittle guys down until they're all actually in cover and then they get cover save. But if it's all coming from one unit at one time, like, they don't get the cover save because it's, it's fucking weird. Anyway, um, cover in this game, in this edition, is a bit weird. The, the terrain rules are simplified. But the problem with that is they really lack clarification for three dimensions, so combat has a lot of problems where if you can't get the base of the model within one inch of the other yeah. base, like, you can't fight. And there's some pretty big models in this game, so it's mm -hmm. kind of weird to be, like, more or less crushing the skull of someone with, like, a, a giant model and then you can't fight because of the dimensionality stuff, so... Again, they have to decide what they're doing. If they're going to do like six inch coherency for bases for combat for verticality, so as long as you like, you know, roll your six, you're in or whatever. Mm -hmm. The fix last edition was fine. You just move underneath in the ruin and those guys are fighting. Like, it, it wasn't that hard, but yeah. the problem with this edition is you don't measure from the models you're, you're doing yeah. the base. So yeah, and I find that weird. It's a bit wonky. I, I think my biggest pet peeve right now, if I could fix like one and one rule only, right now for shooting, all you need is one model in range and line of sight to all the shooters. It's really dumb. And in a game where they've introduced all this granularity in, you know, lieu of 
thresholds, which is what seventh ed was, it's a big fucking threshold, okay? Because mm -hmm. regardless of all the granularity, whether you're doing one shot or fucking million, the fact that that's the only criterion is really fucking stupid. There's no reason to move a tank to see more guys if we have to see one. Yeah. And then you look at artillery, which has no minimum ranges, and a lot of it's like 48. Good luck playing on a 4x4 four four against a bunch of mortars and guard. Like, they're just yeah. going to tear your army apart. Yeah. They can target you anywhere on the board, and there's nothing you can do to stop them yeah. short of dropping and preventing the shooting, which could be a viable tactic, but if they're bubble-wrapped with 800 conscripts, you can't do anything. So right now, also, fly is another thing I hate because everything on the fly is just better than not, mm -hmm. especially on the vehicle front. Oh, yeah. But, like, I am liking faction play if they can fix chaos and imperial stuff. I am liking that we're seeing people come back to the game. Sort of, mm -hmm. maybe. But, oh, that's my spiel. Anyone else? I don't know what else I could say that we haven't said already. I mean, stuff about line of sight. Yeah. An issue. Um, On I, the front, yeah, there's your point with the fixing the banners and the cosmetic yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's, like, the big, one of the biggest things. I think the thing with me for that is it's not an easy sentence because like you really have to the yeah. old the seventh what they did was they went like anthropomorphic they're like like arms legs head kind of because even on like a riptide or on a yeah. most things even if you have like four legs they're still legs but like for me without doing that if you just say three examples of decorative things then etc Jervis that's not fucking ruling okay yeah it's like, well, they said wings, but they didn't say, like, tentacles. Like, well, yeah. you're not really telling me how any of this works then, right? Mm -hmm. The kids will get fucked. So I really want to understand what their intent is. It's fucking weird, too, because you're measuring, like, hull or, or base for in range, right? Yeah. But, like, you're still drawing LOS from body parts yeah. and antennas. So, like, it's all over the fucking map. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> sort yourself out. <laughs> anyway. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Thank you for watching. Is there anyone else? Anything nah, else to add? nah, man. I think uh, I think we think we covered it all. I will end with an editorial note. I know he sounds super whiny. We're just very yeah. really good at narrowing down on problems. We're all very critical of each other, and uh, it's our skill. It's what we do. So yeah, like we wouldn't be doing this if we weren't enjoying ourselves. Yeah. But there's this. True. There's this weird thing now where everyone's waiting for like the first tos to kind of crack and fix things. We were all kind of patiently waiting for the FAQ on Saturday, but that's. Not happening, and then the end result, once we fac, is everyone's playing a different game. Yeah. And we're right back to all the balkanization of 7th, so this is a really important time for 8th edition, and they really have to start taking their shit seriously and figuring it out. They won't. They won't, but the, the community has to, or yes. we're fucked again, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we have plenty of gay sex yeah, thanks, to get guys. back to, so if you excuse us, we have to loop up, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye! Right, Thank you for watching. Make a Patreon for us and then give us money. Gods of war. May your hammer be mighty.